Welcome to Nuggies. In this short video, we're going to install Python and VS Code on Windows. After that, we'll run our Hello World program to ensure that everything is working. If this is what you're looking for, please hit that like button. It only takes a second and really helps the channel. To get started, let's open up a terminal and run Python dash dash version. As you can see, Python was not found, and they also give us the option to install it from the Windows Store directly from the command line. If it does not state this, you can just open the Windows Store and find it by searching for Python. As you can see, I don't have Python installed, but we can install it by typing Python. This opens the Windows Store. Now click Install and wait for it to complete. While we are here in the Windows Store, let's search for Visual Studio Code and install it. I'm going to install the standard version instead of the insider's version. So navigate to the standard version of Visual Studio Code and click Install. If you're interested in using the same terminal that you've seen me use on this system, you can also search for Terminal and go to Windows Terminal. You can see that I already have it installed, but if you would like to have the same Terminal Manager, go ahead and click Install for yourself. That's everything we need from the Windows Store, so let's get out of here. We've returned to our terminal, and now let's type Python dash dash version again to display the version. You can see that the Windows Store offers the current version, which at the time of this recording is 3.11. To confirm that it's working, let's run a Python command. Just the word Python will open the interpreter for Python. From here, you can type print hello world. And you can see that it has printed the output hello world. To exit the Python interpreter, you can type exit, open parenthesis, close parenthesis. Now we're back at our terminal. Normally when we write code, we want to save it to a file. Python programs are saved in a .py file. A .py file is basically the same thing as a text file, except the file extension is .py instead of .txt. We can create a new file and open it using VS Code in one command by running code, the name of our file, .py. In this case, the name of our file is hello world. In order to access our new code command, we need to close our terminal and open a new one. Now we will create a file for our hello world program by typing code hello world.py. Note that the space is an underscore. Now you can see we have a new text file where we can write our program. So let's run the same command of print hello world. Press Control S to save your file. To run this file, we can go back to our terminal and run Python and then our file name. You can see we get the same result of hello world in the output, but now it is on the command line. It's even easier to run this program from within Visual Studio by opening up the integrated terminal, which you can do with Control backtick. The backtick is the key to the left side of the one. From here, we can again run our program by running Python and then the file name. Again, we see our output, hello world. In Visual Studio Code, we can also run in debug mode by pressing F5. In this case, this is my program, so I'm going to trust the workspace. And we're going to run this program as a Python file. It says that we need to select a Python interpreter, which will be listed down here at the bottom right. We just installed Python 3.11, so this is the one we want to use. Again, let's try to run our Python program. You can see now that we've run it in debug mode, which will be useful later on for finding errors in our code. We'll have more on debug mode later. For now, you can just run your program from the terminal or by pressing F5. Now that we have our Python environment set up, head over to the playlist in the description for more lessons on Python programming. If this helped you, be sure to like the video and leave a comment. Here are some of the great things my favorite viewers have said in the past. Congratulations on finishing this lesson. Until next time, keep on coding on.